Lately, we've been using some pretty strong weapons and testing them out against the Mega Abomination just to see how fast we can take them out. But can we take out the Mega Abomination with no weapons? Get ready for a gunfight strike. He sees a target-rich environment. Well, Soap, it's not really gonna be much of a gunfight because I'm coming in here with nothing but my fists, at least weapon-wise. So as you can see here, I didn't bring a single weapon. I have a few nades and some perks, but I won't be using any kill streaks, any deadbolt turrets, and any weapons. But before we can even go over to that Mega Abomination, we need to do a little little bit of setup first because i have absolutely no self revives and i can almost guarantee you i'm gonna go down trying to take on this mega abomination so i need at least a little bit of an insurance policy and i accidentally just wasted a decoy that's a great start but there's no better contract with or without weapons to do than this cargo delivery but i was playing a bit earlier my game crashed and i lost my large backpack and my three plate vest so i'm like you know what what do i got to lose Let's try to take on this Mega Abomination with nothing. Now, these guys are pushovers. They're literally just going to let me walk away with their vehicle. And just like that, we've completed our first mission. We get a quick 2K and a self-revive to go with it. Let's go. Just need to do about two more of those. We'll have enough to buy another self-revive. I just want to stack up on these. And hopefully we'll find a few nades along the way. Because if you guys have played Cold War Zombies before, you're probably familiar with the Forsaken Easter egg and the step you have to do with the little like rocks that you have to throw into the Mega Abomination's mouth. And I'm almost positive it works the same way in this game where if you throw something into its mouth you can easily take out one of the heads so my plan is to try to force feed it nades and hopefully it'll take it out if not we're gonna be in for some trouble Ooh, and these zombies are not being very friendly right now get on the decoy for me pretty sure they have an ammo cache back here i'm gonna let the zombies try to take them out let me get to the ammo, grab the gas mask, get in the car and go. That was beautiful. Textbook. Got out of that with like two nades and three decoys. And that's another delivery complete. What they got for me in here? Oh, monkey bomb. That could help out. Let's stow that. And our backpack's really limiting us right now. Because I really need to have some armor with me. I need to have some nades with me. I need room for all my self-revives too. So after this mission right here, I think I need to take some time to loot and try to find like a larger backpack. Maybe this will give me a backpack. Nope. It's giving me everything for just a weapon here. Dead shot, an aether tool, and napalm burst. I wish I could throw that on my fists. And eh, maybe we can do one more contract before we start looting. We definitely need a better armor vest too. So another thing we got to invest in. Oh, in a pack a punch two crystal. I do kind of want to exfil with that. Those are rare. So let's make our way over the tier one zone and start looting. Hopefully we can find something we can use. But I do have a confession for you guys. I'm a bit of a contract whore. Anytime I see these cargo transfer contracts, you know I gotta do them. Oh, there's a medium backpack right here. Good thing we came over here. And there's a kill streak there, but I'm not grabbing that. But if we get a bit more cash, then we can just buy a three plate armor vest. I have to worry about finding one of those. Unless they just want to give me one right here. Nope. And I just realize something i can drop like one at a time for these nades here i can stow them and if i go up to the ammo thing i can get some more we can stock up on nades so i'm gonna try to do that right now while it's convenient give me that three plate vest beautiful i think if i get one more self revive we might be good to go save me the trouble and give me one it did let's go all right i think we're good all right let's go find us an abomination oh no our car's dying we're already out on foot we just need to find a big bastard I actually might buy one more self revive since we're right here by the store give me that um shit i didn't really think this through let's swap this out for these and just equip those and we're good and in our little panic here our buddy spawned. So what's up, dude? We just got to make sure his mouth is glowing and he's facing us. And then we can hit him with this bad boy. Eat it up. I think we got it. We got it in his mouth. Let's go. That's one. Uh, let's throw on these monkey bombs. Oh, he don't sound too happy. I'm going to throw one so these zombies can leave me alone. Oh. Let's armor up. Oh, those hellhounds don't like those. Hellhounds don't go for the monkey bombs. Oh, and he's lasering again. Can we make this throw? No, it just bounced off of him. I don't think we got it. Okay, that's fine. We have two more nades and we need to hit both of these. Maybe that's what I should have been grabbing. Go ahead and yell again. Open up. Try to shoot me with your laser. I dare you. There it is. Eat it. Let's go. That's two. Ooh, took out the hellhounds with it. Now we only have one nade left. We need to wait for our time to strike, and we cannot miss. I'm literally just running until he decides to shoot his laser. Oh, there it is. Enjoy, bastard. He swallowed it, too. Wait, what? Oh, no. He just big dogged us. Any nades in here? Any at all? Oh, fuck. Oh, there's a Semtex. We can try that. Oh, there we go. Let's see if he'll eat that. 
It didn't do anything. What? Why'd the first two work? We need more nades. Uh, let me throw a monkey bomb so I can actually loot one of these buildings. Uh, there's throwing knives. Um, a claymore. Fuck it. Put it at the door. Anything in here that we can use? A breacher drone, maybe? <laughs> what about in here? Uh, nothing really. He's lasering again, though. Oh, I guess he stopped. Took a breacher drone in the face. I did find another Semtex. Let me uh, just cashmere so all these zombies can leave me alone. And they're dropping some nades. Actually, this is a strat right here. Drop me my shit. Oh, he's yelling again? Eat it. That one work? No. <laughs> what health do we have him at? About half. Is there no other way to do this? Maybe we can lead him on over to here. And loot these buildings. There's got to be something in here we can use. Here goes my last cashmere. What about thermites? You got an appetite for thermites? Nope. I think I just cauterized his wound. You got like Molotovs for sure though, right? Oh, I think we got it. Let's go. Took out a whole mega abomination with no guns. But now I have uh, <laughs> no way to fight out of here. I just have to run. Give me that backpack though. I'll be taking that. Uh, anything else good that you dropped? No? All right. See you later. I can't believe we actually did it. At first, when we, when we took out the first two heads, I'm like, oh yeah, we got this. And then when he just ate and swallowed that last nade, I thought it was chalked. I thought we were done. Thank God those zombies dropped something because there's no way I was getting out of there with just my fist. That would have been sweet though. Getting them down to one health and just clocking them. Well, we got this large backpack to fill up in 13 minutes to do it. I'm gonna run some contracts and see if we can't get out of here with a, a net positive. And assuming this last zombie don't kill me, we have successfully made it out of here with no weapons. Let's go, dude. And we got out of there with all this right here. Not a bad haul. We had all these self revives that we didn't even end up using. I don't think we went down a single time. I wonder how many kills we got, though. Only 198. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a lot less. It must have been a lot of car kills and the zombies getting those strays from the nades. That's a pretty good outing, if I do say so myself. But we're not done with our fight yet. Apparently, there's a calling card for killing a mega abomination by making it swallow a grenade. And I did not get it because we killed it with a Molotov. So I will not rest until I get this calling card. All right, now that we got that practice run under our belts and we have a large backpack to store a few more nades and maybe a little bit less self-revised, we should be able to clean it on this run. Let me pop my perkies. I'm going to sit here and hit this ammo box until I'm full on nades. And then once I got enough, I'm going to run a few contracts to see if I can't get another self-revive or two. Because we might have got lucky on our first run not going down at all, but I feel like this run, we might. All right, I think we have enough nades here. We have like seven in reserve, maybe eight. And my theory is, since we're going to be using all the same nade type, it shouldn't take as many as it did last time. I think maybe since I was switching it up that it wasn't doing the same amount of damage and his head wasn't exploding. But just in case I'm wrong, I brought a few extra. And once we do a few of these, we should be good to go. Okay, let's buy this self-revive and I think we're good. Our backpack's full. Unless we find anything else decent on the way there. Now let's go take this big bastard out once and for all. There he is. There's our guy. What's up, dude? Let's start this out with a monkey bomb. Oh, he's already shooting his laser. I was not ready. A quick little monkey bomb will help. Let's throw the decoys near the monkey bomb so the hellhounds fuck off. Oh, didn't do it in time. Go ahead and shoot another laser. I dare you. There it is. Enjoy. That's the middle head dead. See you later. Drop me some armor for that too. Appreciate you. Good thing we brought all these decoys so these zombies can leave me alone. Shoot another one. Come on. I know you want to. There we go. Oh no, it bounced off. Oh no. All right, that's fine. That's what we got the self revives for. We are almost out of decoys already. Okay, I get one, you get one. Fair trade. Try and laser me again and see what happens. All right, here we go. Oh, it bounced off the sign. Got a few zombie kills though. That's got to count for something. Here we go. Can't miss on this. There we go. Eat it. That's another head down. Just need one more. Shoot the laser. I'm pretty sure I don't even need to wait for him to shoot the laser, but this is the only way I know how it guarantees it works. Oh, I whiffed. Eat another one. Is that it? No, that didn't kill him. What? Why is it always the third head that he just tanks? But we prepared for this. We still have four more nades. If we have to run to an ammo stash, we will. Okay, he's doing it again. Enjoy. That didn't kill him. Three nades left. He's shooting it again. Oh, what the f A zombie just smacked it out of the air. Dude, quit being a dick and just die. Got it in that one. Oh, did it kill him? 
It did. Let's go. Did our calling card pop up? I didn't see it pop up. It better. We better see it when we get out of this game. That's for damn sure. Watch there be some like stipulation, like not going down. But we still got 23 minutes left in this game and we have two whole self revives. Let me go find a munition box. Maybe we try to take out another one just to be safe. All right, I think we're back in business. I sat there and camped at the armory for a little bit. We got three self revives, a shit ton of nades. It's probably still not gonna be enough to take one down, but we can try. Oh, and our buddy respawned. What's up, dude? Nice to see you. Yeah, shoot that laser. Bon appetit, bitch. Oh, that hurt. Maybe I shouldn't have ran under him while I was exploding. Oh, I don't have PhD, I just realized. That would make a world of difference here. And just for science, maybe I throw it at the glowing mouth? Nope. Maybe you closed it right at the, the right time. I don't want to waste anymore. I'm going to stick with what I know works. There we go. That's two. Two heads gone. Shoot your laser, big bitch. Stop trying to bite me. Come on, I know you're good for it. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Oh, fuck. There it is. There's our laser, but we're too far away. Oh, that's knocking us. Good thing we picked up that extra self-revive. Come on, one more. Or probably a few more, but... Give me another one. Oh, here it comes. Oh, what a throw. Oh, and what a down. He's still up, though. I think I have one more self-revive after this. I'm gonna try to get rid of at least some of these zombies. I might use a nade real quick. While well, they're all grouped up, no better time than to throw one. Let's go. Here it is again. How did he not get hit? Oh, wait, he did. He did eat it. Cool. Why are you only at half health, though, with two of your heads missing? On top of already eating three nades. There we go. Up close feeding. Oh, we got him. Let's go. We finally saw the guillotine thing pop up. Let's hope that counts for the calling card if our other one didn't. All right, let's get out of here and see if we got our calling card. So we did that in 186 zombie kills. Two of those were mega abominations. Show me my calling card. I didn't get an after action report. It better be in here. This is fucked up. Is this bugged? Why is this not being tracked? Because it's not like I can't complete any of these because I already have this one done. It says kill a mega abomination by making it swallow a grenade. Let me try one more time. All right, I guess let me get set up again. All right, I'm as set up as I'll ever be. Let's try this again. Now, just to make sure that we're doing everything we can, let's see if this is a mega abomination. Perfect. Now we can try to take this one out. Still fighting it in basically the same spot though. But you better give me this calling card. Shoot your laser. Oh, I already started cooking the nade. Right when he started shooting it, eat it. Okay, we already got one head down. The first two heads are always the easiest ones. Yell. Go for it. Scream. Shoot a laser. Do something. Come on. There we go. That should work. That's two heads down. And this should be three. Okay, well, it blew up, but it didn't kill him, per usual. There's the laser. Have a snack. What just hit me? Have another one. You're a hungry boy, aren't you? Come on, quit dicking around. That's what I'm talking about. Enjoy. How? Enjoy another one. There we go. So we've taken out all kinds of abominations. Normal, just roaming ones. The megas. Well, I guess they're all megas. And the HVT one from the bounty. There is no reason for us to not have this calling card now. If I don't get it from this, then I'm just taking this up with Treyarch. I'll have to let them know. I'm gonna get a very stern tweet from me. If these zombies could fuck off so I can get my reward, please. Jeez, I put down the sentry turret that we got from it and it's not helping at all. Oh, it wasn't really even anything. A mortar strike. That's basically it. And we have another mega abomination here, but he can just get mortared. I don't give a fuck. I'm getting out of here. Show me the calling card. Show me the calling card. Oh, let's go. Finally. I have no idea what went wrong the first two, three, four times we did it. But we finally got it. I'm definitely throwing that on. Give me that. It might have taken a little bit, but we killed maybe four Mega Abominations with no weapons at all, no OP builds, no Wonder Weapons, no kill streaks, and no Deadbolt turrets. Just us, Determination, and about like a whole crate full of frag grenades. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.